Very soon, an epic rivalry between the best fighters on the planet will unfold in the middleweight division of the world's best league. Oh! 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 Just like that! It's it's it. the oh! Comes on Shumaya by submission. Just when I say that. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Kamzat Chemaev and Paulo Costa will collide in the octagon on October the 21st at UFC 294. For a very long time, the fighters have been exchanging insults towards each other and properly steering the excitement for this fight. Our duty is to watch the promo for their clash and wait for the upcoming event that promises a storm of emotions and genuine excitement. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Let's start with a brief review of these two warriors paths and gradually get to the points of how they cross ways with each other. Kamzat Chemaev arrived in the world's best league in July of 2020. Stoppage victories on his record. I said to Dana I want to fight next week, but my coach, uh, my brother uh, Reza Madadi, he was in the UFC. Everybody know him. He's an amazing fighter. He said to me, listen to me. We're going to take the fight. Take, take it easy now. <laughs> no, not next week, but I listened to him. He, maybe next month, one, two months come back and smash somebody again. But the hopes of the coach and other teammates of Chemaev were not meant to come true. After a record-setting 10 days, Boz entered the octagon once again. He was set up against Reese McKee, who was signed specifically for the fight with the Chechen. As history taught us, the Irishman fell before Kamzat, losing via first-round TKO. Two wins in 10 days couldn't help but draw the public's attention to Chemaev. Boz's status was also supported by the fact that he got hit with only two shots, contrary to the 192 landed. In other words, the Chechen's goal to break through in an extremely vivid fashion was successfully fulfilled. Uh, you're getting the comparisons to Habib already, you know, comparing you, hey, Habib, well, even your manager is calling you Habib 3.0. Uh, <laughs> is that okay? Do you, do you want those comparisons or do you, or do you not want to be tied to, to Habib? It doesn't matter for me. I like these guys. This guy is now pound, I think he's pound, I don't know, it's pound for pound number one. Yeah, I think he's pound for pound number one. He's 28 wins, like, yeah, but soon. I'm gonna be pound for pound number one. I'm gonna be champion. I have eight fights, eight finish. I destroyed everybody. Less than two months later, Boz faced a tough veteran, Gerald Mearshart, whom he knocked out in 17 seconds with one precise shot. Oh. Good. <laughs> Feel good to knock him out. I see he was, when I look at his eyes, he was left nervous. Like in the cage, when I look at him, he don't want to be there. I said that directly. After the third consecutive victory, the UFC wanted to put Kamzat against the current welterweight champion, Leon Edwards. But all plans fell through due to the pandemic. Besides all other troubles, the Chechen got ill himself and so badly that he even decided to retire. On March the 15th of 2021, Kamzat posted this on his Twitter account. I want to say thank you to everyone for their support in my path in this sport. I think I'm done, yes, I know that I didn't take the belt, but this is not the most important victory in this life. It may upset you, but my heart and body tell me everything. The decision was hasty and things weren't as bad as they initially seemed. A week later, Kamzat returned to social media with good news. Kamzat, surprise, surprise, I'm coming back to smash everybody. Half a year later after this tweet, Boz had a long awaited return to the cage. The next in his way happened to be Li Jingliang, whom Chechen Boz carried across the entire octagon and choked him out unconscious already in the first round. I'm here with Hamza Chimaev. Hamza. I'll call you with me. We will 
We'll kill everybody. I'll stay here. It's my home. Allah Akbar! Then Kamsa got a former welterweight contender in the face of a tough Brazilian, Gilbert Burns. At UFC 273, they put on a brutal bloodbath in the end of which Chemaev was a clear winner. It was not like something surprised from him, but this was wrong for me. The coach told me all the time, slow, slow down and work more technical. I just want to like take his head off, you know, like always that we do. And uh, next time I'm going to work for that. You know? Five spectacular victories were enough to put the Chechen against the legendary gangster from Stockton, Nate Diaz. I'm real gangster here. <laughs> I eat the gangster for breakfast. That's why I'm here. But closer to the actual event, comes up began to have issues with weight cutting. I don't know. I want to move cutting that. Hey, this is Chechen, motherfucker. Shut up, guys. I'll f you, boy, up. I'm fucking backstage as well. Kevin Holland was a replacement who took an honorable spot of being the 12th victim on the record of Boars. I'm the most dangerous guy here. I got a cover for everyone. By the way, prior to the tournament, during the weight cutting stage, comes out across paths with Paulo Costa and had a little brawl with him in the training gym. You want to fight me? No, I said, do you, do you say anything? I want to fight you. You want to fight me? I'm fucking up right now. Okay. Yeah, come on, Let's come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just to you know, Shemaev, I don't need to uh, have a couple of guys with me. I'm arm of one man, you know? I walk alone and I can beat you alone with just one hand. And since we're talking about the Brazilian... Mm. Make you strong and jacket. Look, red touch, you know, is not to everybody. This is a secret juice, very powerful. Boricina has been conquering the world's best league since March of 2017. Before that, he has been racking eight first round stoppages for five years and did it quite successfully. His commanding appearance inspired fear in every opponent and it's clear why. Paolo Costa looked great in the cage, he took on every offered fighter, smashed them to the pulp and continued to collect TKOs. When he came into the UFC, the situation didn't change. The Brazilian was dismantling everybody he faced in the same painful and destructive manner. I'm I'm born for this. Mm. I'm born for this. For for fight and fight with happy. It's not nervous. I'm talking with my coach every time. So <laughs> I'm I'm born for this. What also deserves a special mention is his wins over the former champion in the face of Johnny Hendricks and of course the Cuban machine for putting bodies in bags, Yoel Romero. I bring my best for this fight. I train, I train like a crazy man. For God, uh, I, I am here today to fight against this beast. Yoel Romero is a real beast, you know. This guy, I expect a lot, Yoel. Yoel. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. When Paolo earned an opportunity to contest the World Championship, being an undefeated prospect, he got in the way of a prime Israel Adesanya, who recently had his first title defense. Now, I don't remember that, that part, but I remember I saw you walking there on the uh, hall of the, the hotel that we are. And, uh, but I thought this guy is working on Sikha Soleil because he's so skinny, he's not look like a fighter. But after that, the people uh, told me you, you fought uh, one day before me, I think. But I really didn't know who you are. He's dumb. He's dumb and he walks forward and he throws shots. That's what makes it really exciting and that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to this big, inflated, ignoramus running up on me, trying to throw shots as I keep moving and sticking him. And eventually when this gas tank runs out after the third round, sorry, this round, they're here on the Put your away, this is ESPN. Like Mickey Mouse, don't want to. You like this? Your... Okay. Oh, this is not God. Yeah. After the fight with Izzy, Costa was no longer undefeated, so to say. 
On top of that, he lost to Marvin Vittori in the light heavyweight bout. But after that, the Brazilian returned to the win column by retiring an ex-champion, Luke Rockhold. This energy came to came from this audience is amazing for me to me because the last time that I fought with people was in 2019 against Romero. It was a war. This in this fight was a very good fight as well. So guys, thank you very much. I love you. I really appreciate it. It happened in August of 2022, less than a month prior to the fight between Kamzat and Kevin Holland. And now, more than a year later, we're about to witness their clash. I'd like, but I don't really think this will will happen because he, he don't want he, he's he's uh, avoid fight me, you know. He's uh, he don't want to fight me. He just want to fight small guys, small smaller than he, you know. What I'm talking about, uh, and the guys who has no wrestling, has not take down defense, has no power to to clean up, you know. You know, what the f***? <laughs> Dude, this is his parade. He's terrified. Terrified. Look at this. <laughs> what the f***? You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. Bro, I swear for God, I feel sorry for him. Oh my God. <laughs> I came to you, but the f***? I came to you. <laughs> Look at this. Romain Chechen has no chance. Zero. No chance. I'm gonna destroy him. Paulo. Paulovic. You dead, man. Just be sure come up to the cage, beat you up, send you back in the package to Brazil. But still in Brazil, they don't want you. No countries recognize you. Yeah, I think because he's on hype. Yeah. I, I still, I stole some some his hype. Sure. I stole his, his night sleep. I stole his cap. Yeah. I stole his main event fight. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You think I you're stole the reason? Everything. Shimaev, you need to do something, mother I still I stole everything that you had. Good, feels good. Make that guy cry, you know, in the cage. You're gonna make him cry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I always do. Like Don't make it change, you know, because the guy is not real. I he told me I'm fake Brazilian, but he's fake to change. Okay. I know. He moved. He moved from his country, and he he moved to Sweden. Yeah. Oh my God, he's a good made to change. That's that's why. He's not original to change. Okay. I hate that that dude. So I gonna. I'm training. I'm training just to make him suffer. You know, not not only and uh, not only uh, beat him, but I want to do that in great style. You know what I mean? So I'm. Yeah. I, I put all my skills and all my uh, concentration, focus to be. Better than ever, physically, mentally, technical, technically, you know, all parts together. And we are yet to see the fight week with press conferences, ceremonial weigh-ins and face-offs. Can you imagine what heat is ahead of us? If yes, then leave your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos. And of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. See you soon.